I've been working on this in different configurations and, um, you know, just taking my time uh, and trying to get this right. So, in effect, this is the radio in the upper panel. This is the fuel flow meter. This over here will be a compass or is a compass. Um, on this side over here is uh, your elevation and flight. Up here is um, your vertical speed. Over here is your rotor RPM. Down here is your airspeed. And then this range of gauges here are tied back to the engine for uh, oil pressure, oil temperature, trans oil temperature, and your EGT uh, exhaust temperature. So if you go down on the lower panel, what we have here is... Uh, a trig transponder um, system that's ADSB out, um, and it's it's a lovely device. Here um, is the hall meter that gives you your engine RPMs. Um, these switches are tied back into uh, the start sequence for the turbine. Uh, down below is a flight timer, uh, and of course a fuel gauge. And over here I have a beacon switch and a strobe switch. I should say up here is the uh, instruments switch for everything. And over here is the comm switch, switch that turns on the radio and transponder. So it's not uh, overly um, complicated ideas for it. I think everybody does this to some extent. Uh, I just wanted to get mine to be the way I wanted it. And of course, down here is your fuse panel. Uh, now I'm going to show you sort of in the back. This is still a work in progress. As you can see, I've got the... The instrument pod is out of the um, out of the uh, helicopter right now, and I'm going to uh, flip it over and I'll show you kind of what I've got going on on the back side. So looking into the back, or more or less underneath of the instrument pod, um, you really don't have a lot of room in here, um, and you have to try to imagine that all your wiring, and everything is going to somehow tie back into this. What I did was built a rear panel for uh, the electronics uh, as they come in through the breakers and then all of this will tie back um, into the lower distribution of power that will come out from the back of this panel and go out to respective components etc. And so the back of this thing will have these uh, Dutch connector types of things hooked to it that that'll make all of this um, a little bit more manageable and easy to, to do. Uh, down in here, of course, you can see the makings of the uh, backside of the instruments, and uh, I've got some ideas for these. I'll I'll make another video once I get all of this sort of tied together, and uh, ultimately, this thing here I hope will just be a very easy or manageable let's put it that way thing if it needs to be taken apart or, or what have you but but that is also very solid um, and you know not moving around or what have you so I think I'm getting it and I don't know what other guys are doing if you've got one of these and you've built one just uh, chime in and say hey man try this or try that I'm all for it so uh, otherwise this instrument pod is still it's still coming along but I'm getting there